Hi everybody, my name is Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. And I'm here with Ander from StretchSense at SIGGRAPH 2022. And you guys have a new glove that just came out recently that yep. you're showing off. Absolutely. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, uh, this is the new Fidelity glove uh, coming out of StretchSense. Um, we've already had a glove in production uh, for quite a while, a couple years now. We just released this, uh, I think it's back in June of this year. Um, it's a brand new glove, uh, it's a brand new construction, uh, based off of the same technology, we just implemented uh, more sensors and wider range. So previously, uh, the sensors would go just down to the first two knuckles. Uh, the new glove will take every single hand, finger on the hand, down to the last knuckle. So we're getting those distals, so you're getting a lot more life at a high frame rate, like 120 frames a second. The second element that we've updated amongst others, but to highlight, is we have now in, in the uh, pack here, which includes the battery and the SD card writer, we actually have a antenna for the Bluetooth. So previously we were getting a range of 20, 30 feet uh, from the uh, glove to the dongle where the stream goes for the data. Now we're getting upwards of 90 foot. Uh, which is really great suited for maybe those larger stages or even some virtual production stages, which go for like 300 you know, feet across. I don't know what it is in meters. Um, but so we've got, it's a, it's a very robust product um, and it's light. The thing that I like about it personally, and I am not, I'm not impartial at all, um, is the fact that it's a device, it's a high-end device, but when you put it on, it feels like a garment. So for those people who are interested uh, in wearing something like this for prolonged periods of time, you don't feel like, I've got this thing on my hand, I want to get it off. It's very comfortable, it's very light material, it doesn't feel like a device. So that's, that's the big update for us, and it's been nothing but wonderful feedback from our current client base, and we're just eating all that up. It's all gold, you know, to make our stuff better. So, besides the hardware then, was there a software update that corresponds oh, yeah. to that as well? Absolutely. So, we've just shipped along with the new glove, uh, Hand Engine 2.0. Uh, it's, it's a significant update for us. Um, it's not just a re, uh, you know, a new UI on it. Basically, it's brand new code base uh, written from the ground up. Um, we can basically make it easier to admin multiple pairs of gloves at the same time. Uh, the UI UX experience is also better and our machine learning algorithm is even stronger. Again, nothing but feedback from our clients uh, so that we can feed that back into our development program roadmap and then we can deliver just better products down the line. So the software is brand new, the gloves are brand new, together they make a really powerful not only motion capture solution but also like VR triggering. So you can use the gloves to trigger events in real time. And have there been updates to the, the machine learning training library? I mean, um, as a university, there's some projects that we're looking into that are related to a using ASL yeah. and sign language. Um, you know, it's really difficult to make sure those get articulated correctly. I mean, yeah. is there anything going on there? Yeah, so what, what part of the uh, feature set within actually the older software, but even more able uh, in the new software is the ability to set actual discrete poses. So I know that, for instance, American Sign Language, you can't afford for it to get mushy, especially with like these kind of interesting you know, like occluded finger, I think O and M, I forget which ones they are. I don't speak fluent ASL. But clarity is key. So we can actually set up a pose library of all American, like the alphabet, and even phrases, um, where you're getting very clear transitions in and out of those letters. Um, and it's that machine learning and the ability to actually get the high fidelity. Where are the fingers going? It's going boom into that first, you know, these different alphabet letters, uh, and that will you know, make communication digitally so much more clear. And so, yeah, our machine learning has even jumped towards that kind of stuff. We have current clients using it for ASL, also in England, like they use BSL, which is a slightly different alphabet and different language. Um, so, yeah, this is becoming part of part of our, our feature set. It's, it's all in the software. And so did I, did I hear you say it also includes phrases? So a, a pose as a technical term might actually rephrase to or refer to a transition between from one pose to another or a series of poses, or is it always like a discrete pose and then there's tuning potentially available for yeah. like transitions? It's the transitions. Um, so we have situation, we have a setup called hybrid mode, which allows you to kind of, I'll say freestyle out of like those hard, you know, this is A, B, C, and so on. So out of the alphabet into something where you're gesturing because a large part of what I understand ASL to be, it's not just alphabet spelling, it's also emphasis on certain things and speed and being able to 
enunciate, and I don't know what the right term is, um, with uh, emphasis and emotion. And so our hybrid mode allows you to get those hard letters you've, you've selected, what your, with your alphabet, but also gesture, gesturally. So you're able to not just, um, it's the difference between using like a speak and spell, where you're getting the alphabet, but it's very monotone, right? Where what we're trying to do is actually unlock expression within that. So you can still get those letters and those shapes, but you're also getting the timing and the emphasis and everything else. So the more we do it, and the more we get feedback from our users, the more we can refine and just make it stronger and stronger and stronger. And so finally, like the... Did I answer the question? I don't know if I... You did. You, okay, did. you okay, answered good. the question, so that's great. So <laughs> finally, the, you know, the real important thing about everything done with your product is how it gets applied to the next step in the pipeline. So is there anything new in terms of the integrations, whether it's you know, with engines or different character sets? Well, I think that one of the main things is when since we first started about two and a half years ago, uh, we were the new kids on the block. And as more and more people have t taken up our technology, more and more, uh, we'll say brother and sister technologies have decided to come on board with us and, and kind of allow our stuff to come on board. So for instance, people, we all know that doing a sign language as, as an example, isn't just hands, it's shoulders, it's body, it's face and everything. So there are companies like Movella who use like full body suits. Uh, our software integrates directly with their animation software. So you can track body, shoulders and hands and uh, 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 head movements and everything like that. We also have partners with uh, OptiTrack, who do the optical systems. Um, Vicon just released an update to their software, which allows our uh, hand data to be integrated with their body data in uh, their Shogun software. Um, and the integrations are just are just keeping continually going. All that being said, we're also building integrations ourselves. So we have the ability to work with clients like Drexel University. If you came to us and said, "We've got a special case, and we'd like to." you know, your stuff gets here, but we need it to get there. How do we get from here to there? We can actually bring resources to bear to help you out with that. So we're constantly evolving, constantly trying to make our stuff just easier to use. Um, and so, yeah, more and more integrations literally by the month. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending the time, everybody. Thank you for visiting. Again, this is Ander from Stretch Sense. So you can always uh, take a look at the description. There should be a link to them there. Yep. And until next time, have fun.